Hey, what's up guys, Danny James here. In this video, we're going to be doing some of these advanced tracking effects. I usually refer to them as mesh tracking. Uh, in this particular example, we are going to be attaching some sort of a tattoo on the face of the subject and make it stick there and move together with the perspective. I mentioned that we'd be doing this concept from the previous tutorial, which we did some of these basic tracking effects let me just move these items here so that we can do it on a fresh slate so we have a clean timeline to begin working on we are also going to be using mocha pro for this so if you don't have and you kind of know your way tagging around these apps i'll plug you down on my description box so let me just delete the mocha pro and begin from scratch first thing you want to do add the mocha uh, in this scenario we're going to be using the mocha pro we're going to do some basic setting up and then i will also go to my project bin i want us to attach this scorpion something like this as a tattoo i also had another idea of something like a cross but i'll still show you how to infuse both of them easily and directly so i will drop down the scorpion over here just leave the perspective as it is we will even disable that layer so you'd basically be starting with something that looks like this back on our effect controls for our main clip click on the mocha and make sure to be working with a full resolution image then let's just bounce into it if you need to mock a pro don't be intimidated by the interface it's kind of easy once you've gotten yourself accustomed to it uh, you have a pointer tool you have some explain tool these are the main tools that you're going to be using and you also have a hand that moves around and you can use your scroll wheel to zoom into the clip. Before you begin selecting your points, uh, just try finding a point in time where you have like a full perspective of everything. I think this frame is, uh, is good. Now I'll pick my spline tool. Normally you'd be going around the entire face if you are a bit specific about what you're adding. Okay, then you'd be going around it, uh, but this is not the case, so I'll just delete that instead i want to just go around the cheekbone since i know where i want to place the tattoo or or whatever you're going to be adding so this is not just limited to the face i think this should be a good learning curve with my spline points all connected i can go frame by frame to track the next frame and then i can still go on i can see that it went away from the nose so on the next one i'll just squeeze these points i would normally go frame by frame instead of letting the software do everything so that you have less complications later on so I, i'm kind of having to go to do a little bit of back and forth in case i notice something is not going how i wanted to Okay, currently it seems to be reading well so i'll just go on okay sometimes i'll still have to adjust this manually okay for now i think i have something good it kind of follows everything to the to the t now from here i'll go back and track just the same way i've been doing okay and now we have a well tracked spline on the left side of the cheek now once you have something like this you can come back to these settings over here activate perspective also do the same for the mesh and then under the generation mode put it to uniform click once again so that you can track together with these details that you've added scrolling through you can see that our mesh has been able to clear out very well i think this is a good starting point just hit save and let's go back to after effects so that you can now incorporate our png which was the tattoo of the scorpion under the mocha pro effect controls go to the module renderers then we need to insert a layer that will be used in this case we are using the png so let, let me just rename this scorpion png so insert layer place it at the scorpion png i will come back to sort the rest of the other items you can also disable the visibility for this since it's already been inserted into mocha click back into mocha 
going back you can see it also shows us the tracking that currently exists there click on the layer and upon clicking the layer these other attributes are kind of adjustable go to the insert section on the insert clip click on it and select the insert layer immediately your scorpion or whatever image you put will be inserted within this section you can adjust some of the attributes with regards to the png that you just added you can adjust the blending mode so i'll put it to multiply then you have some transform settings over here so you can adjust the position you can see as i move it the position also adjusts and then you can also rotate it if you need to i'm not interested in rotating it you can also do a bit of shear and perspective but i think my image is as good as it is i'll just adjust the scaling a bit so that it's uh, a bit more low-key and smaller you also have the option to apply it as a 3d that way you can adjust the depth how far it is and the tilt from a 3d perspective which is not something that i'm interested in currently i can go back and scroll and see if it looks uh, good I can see that it's also shearing and warping according to the stretch of the skin. I can use that as it is, although I think I feel that the mesh could have worked better as I showed you earlier in this example. So I'll hit file and save, then close this project. Now to make whatever changes that we did appear, go back to the module renders, check this box so that it can be rendered. We still can see what we did because we need to change the module from this to insert composite and now you can see what we added we still have more options to adjust the opacity and also the blending mode so i'll still use the default because we did adjust the blending mode earlier on to make it look a bit more realistic i will reduce the opacity to around 70s so that it can look a bit more attached to the skin and not too black as we wrap this up, I'll show you how we can easily refine this look. I also have another image, something like a holy cross. If you wanted to place it instead, just click on the PNG that's on your comp. Go back to your project bin, hold alt while dragging holy cross PNG and it should replace whatever you placed here. So you can see our cross just went into the same place. I will undo this. Let's say we wanted to add some glow on this image that we added here i will go to my project bin drag this here and create a new comp with a png i'll go to my effects and add a fill uh, double click and then you can also adjust the colors you can always come and change this color go back and add a glow i'll use a sapphire glow this time i will adjust these parameters real quick i can still toggle transparency here and make sure i have the right amount of glow this looks good so I'll come back to my main comp, go back to the project pin. Since we have this as a small composition already, do the same thing that we just did, hold Alt and drag it to replace here. It comes in very perfectly. We might still have to change a few of these settings that we did earlier before. So I'll adjust the opacity back. Once again, you can also go back to Mocha, click on the layer, then on the insert settings. If the blending mode wasn't what we wanted, we can put it back to none click save and then right here i think it should be working perfectly and then you can also adjust the opacity and all these other settings and you can still jump back to this comp and adjust the color if you still want to experiment with different looks okay let's go for this lime green go back to the main comp and it will adjust accordingly so I hope you can apply this in different ways into your projects and I hope you was able to learn a few things about how to incorporate the mesh into Mocha. So that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, kindly of give it a like. I also did a basic tracking tutorial prior to this video. So make sure you also check that out after this one. Once again, the simplest way to support this channel is by visiting my store at dannygems.co. I have preset and packs that should level up your visuals and save you more time during editing. My name is Danny James. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.